Sega basically legitimizing ROM hacking via Genesis Hub Steam Workshop? What? I'm not actually sure what the question here is, but I do think this is very cool. So, there's a Genesis Hub on where you can purchase uh, Genesis games uh, to, to play. And basically, Sega has legitimized the hacking of these ROMs for weird and unique purposes. <laughs> um, for instance, one of the big ones that, uh, that, that kind of broke the news was is uh, someone took Streets of Rage 2 and hacked it so that it's the exact same game, but every time an enemy dies, it's Tim Allen screaming. <laughs> um, and so what they're doing is they're encouraging people, which I think is great, to rip apart these games and and change things. Um, you know, to you know, you can increase speed, difficulty, lower difficulty. You've got people who can do whatever the heck they want echo, with these. Echo huh? the dolphin with checkpoints. Yeah. Huh. Ex exactly. Pretty so, cool. you know, people can fix perceived problems or make things more challenging. And to see a company, and you can't charge for these. These are things that you, you then download and modify what you've already purchased with. But this is, this is incredible seeing a company ask you to fuck with their own games for your own pleasure. Legitimately. Not, not in a gray area like people do when they, when they mess around with Mario Brothers games or things like this. This is Sega saying, yeah, it's okay to go ahead and do this. And I think that's very forward thinking. Alien Soldier, original 60 uh, megahertz uh, Japanese version, replaces the 50 hertz optimized European version, or 50 frames, of Alien Soldier with the only version people should be playing. Yeah. Uh, huh. Fantasy Star, to improvement. A relatively humble mod that fixes just about every single bug in the game. Little marked improvements. Walking speeds doubled. So, Rise Star Japanese version. Really cool. Shinobi 3 enhanced. Sonic 3 complete. Shining Force uh, Steam Edition. Yeah, the Sonic 3 complete is really cool. There's a lot Com of neat stuff in that one. Comic Zone fixed difficulty and uncensored. I didn't know it was censored. There's over 300 of these uh, uploaded. So, I guess what? Well, you have to buy the game first. Buy the game, and then and your mods become available. You can just download them. Yeah, exactly. Not a bad idea, Sega. No, that that's gonna breed that that that's just nothing but breeding goodwill. I don't see Nintendo ever doing this, but good on you, Sega. What, what would you fix in a Sega Genesis game, Ian, if you had a chance? Well, I I mean the one thing I, I I've always missed about the 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 uh, it's not really a fix because you can just play the Japanese version, but um, the U.S. version of Streets of Rage three they ratcheted up the difficulty to an insane level, uh, much higher than the Japanese Why do they do version. That in the f we well, it, it, it's just, it's so weird because, you know, we get RPGs that were dumbed down from Japan because we weren't smart enough to play them, yet we get the, like, heavily increased difficulty versions of beat-em-ups because, I don't know, we're expecting our yeah. quarters to get munched. Double it's, Dragon 3 is very hard. Ninja Gaiden 3 is impossible. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Um, so my computer shut down again, so you're going to have to read the next question. <laughs> There's a Sonic uh, 3 Complete that does uh, tweaks, improvements, bug fixes, and options for... Uh, I can't see that. Optional music based upon the original PC version. That's pretty cool. They yeah. changed up the music tracks. Maybe someone can hack and do a CU podcast, uh, Streets of Rage. Put me, <laughs> put me and Ian and Danny Sullivan as the main characters. Huh? Make it happen, folks. 